Good day, people. Well, my sister asked me what the heck I do with the resin casting, so today I'm going to show you. I coated a sheet, a chipboard, and the owl with Stamperia primer, and I let it dry. The primer is an absolutely wonderful first coat. I then used Dilution's black marble paint as my base layer, so everything I put on top would uh, pop out. I decided to take out my Finnebar Art Alchemy waxes I got years ago at Michael's. I used Amethyst Magic, which is the purple, Mystic Turquoise, which is the blue, Lucky Emerald, which is the green, Fire Ruby, which is the red, and then I used um, the Age Brass, which is the, uh, kind of a gold color for the eyes and the beak. Um, I also used Rich Copper and Rose Gold. So I'm going to fussy around with this for quite a long time, uh, just using my finger and putting on the uh, waxes. I also took out a Q-tip uh, to uh, do the eyes and the beak, uh, since I wanted to be a little bit precise with uh, the uh, color that was on it. The rest of the L I didn't really much care, and I just kept mucking around with the waxes and um, just seeing, you know, the color combinations that I could actually get. It went through a couple of ugly phases, but I just basically kept on mucking around and removing or uh, putting uh, the waxes on. They do move around pretty uh, easily when you first take them out, as they are pretty fluid, but they dry really, really fast. So I kind of learned that and then just kept layering waxes until I was happy with uh, what I got. So... During this time, I decided to scrap the idea of making a wall hanging, and I decided that uh, since I love owls so much that it would grace the cover of my new journal. So the journal is a Stamperia mixed media journal from the Create Happiness Collection by Vicky Papayanu, and I hope I don't butcher her name uh, too much. And um, I absolutely love her collection and I love her videos. So if you don't know who she is, please check her out. And uh, I will be putting the owl on probably using the Stamperia Glossy Gel at the very, very end uh, of me filling up my journal inside just because the owl is bulky and um, uh, it'll be way too hard to uh, work on. Oh, I forgot this part. Uh, I am basically using some opal highlights, and these opal highlights are in the royal robes and turquoise sat satin, just for a little bit of sheen. And those words that were at the bottom, I decided to scrap using those as well. So here is the mixed media journal. It's just a small size journal, but this journal is absolutely fantastic to work in. I've already made some pages, so my future videos will include those journal pages, but this owl fits absolutely perfectly on the top of my journal. So I hope you like this and thank you so much for watching and until next time.